On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one, a blessed and wonderful Sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. Now, every morning, I come here religiously and speak about the preservation of life and how important life is. But yet, people take it for granted every day and continue to clap away the ones that ones them in the streets. So right now, we are going to talk briefly upon what really go on and mobile. Then we are going to talk briefly upon the Marvel incident. But the main story is a continuation of the gang violence, the gang war business we are going on over there in Southboro, Portmore, St. Catherine. Now what we are going to talk about the Norwood incident. I'm not going to get too much into it because the police them get some strong leads and I just want to respect the little bunch there, make the squad of them do what they do before I drop the exclusive upon exactly what really takes place in the Norwood space. So up to Saturday evening, you can feel the tension in the community of Norwood. You can feel the tenseness from the people in the community and that community basically just lie on the outskirts of the tourism capital Montego Bay trust me the tourism hub of our country has become the gateway literally to hell death and destruction boy I may tell my peeps a real sad situation and all that occurred even as the zones of special operation is very much active in that area. The last time I check, you have two checkpoints in Norwood. So watch this now, my peeps. We all know who is the member of parliament for the Norwood community. We are talking about the man who was entrusted with the country's national security. We are talking about Dr. Horace Chang, the sitting minister of national security and his constituents is under this type of siege and we have not seen anything that we can say yes dr orius chang did this to stem the crime in that area with the exception of the zozo of course so he lamented yesterday that it was one of the first incidents that took place in that immediate space since the beginning of the zone of special operation in that area. So on Saturday morning, the police was called in to investigate the knockings and clappings loss of life of 23-year-old Damian Minto, otherwise called Kappa, and 25-year-old Lenroy Martin, also called Akeem, and a next man known as Delano Spence. It is said that Minto, a funeral home employee, and Martin, who worked at a wholesale, are from the Warica community, while Spence is said to be from a nearby community. So now the triple loss of life come sharply on the heels of that 17-year-old Devante Lindo. Who get can up and lose theme three pints courtesy of the old dirty corner boy of them hours after that triple loss of life go on. So in on the spot news media's investigation and analysis of all of this were go on. It is a reprisal of the 17 year old Devante Lindo. So the triple loss of life are going is a reprisal coming from that 17 year old losing his life moments before. So residents in the area are basically saying that about 9.45 a.m. So you know say a broad daylight type of knockings and clappings that go on. Several armed men enter into the worker drive section of Norwood community on foot and started blazing beer can at the place. Eight people end up pick up some can, 
tree end up spread out no longer amongst the land of the living. Now as I say, tree get dirt out of the eight. Five survived the knockings and clappings. And in that five, a 14-year-old girl was also injured. She was in her house, sitting in her living room, preparing for church when the massacre start and she end up get some stray can through her window. Can you imagine that, my peeps? The people them picnic in them house and still end up get can up. Boy, I may tell you, now I would... Please do not return from where you're coming from. This naga work out good for nobody. Anyway, my peeps, make a move on from that story if you know. Just know say on the spot news media, dip on that story. And anybody with any information surrounding this incident, please give the information to the police if you not trust the police them link up the soldier them same way if you not trust the soldier them link up all like-minded bloggers and our on the spot news media and give the necessary information we will definitely make sure say the relevant authorities get the information and act on it swiftly this is in the best interest of everybody living in the Norwood space so now my peeps, make a move over to the St. Andrew South Police Division where they have listed 13 persons of interest where the police them feel say know about what go on in that triple loss of life they were going over Marvale just a few days ago. So the St. Andrew South Police have listed 13 men as persons of interest. And as I said, the police believe that these persons can assist with the ongoing investigations into recent incidents in that community space. So first on the list is Courtney Ashley, age 37, otherwise called Biggs of Abbey Clothes in Lee's Flat, Red Hills, St. Andrew. The next man on the list is Anchard Anglin. This man was also featured on on the spot in previous times. We are talking about 37-year-old Anchard Anglin, otherwise called Anchi, of Denver Crescent in Kingston, 20. The third man on the list is Richard Anglin, age 27, otherwise called Oo, of the Denver Crescent era in Kingston, 20. The fourth man on the list is Curtis Eldamir, age 22, otherwise called Mousy of Dorian Avenue in Kingston 20. Now, the rest of man them, the police them going to know them as them aliases. Now, people when know them man yeah, can link up on the spot news media or link up the squad of them and make them know where them man come from. So, the ongoing gang war where you see are going in a marvel, you know, and are just marvel alone, you know. It involved man from Akiwak and it involved man from Red Hills Road too. So now the number five man on the list is a brother with them called Alex come from Rona Akiwak in a Kingston. We are talking about the number six man now, a brother with them called Rookie from Fenbook Avenue in a Akiwak. Same way. The next man on the list, number seven, is Sheldon. No, Sheldon is from the Top Marvali area in St. Andrew. Number eight man on the list is a brother with them called Little. Come from in a Marvali to see him way. No, number nine, a youth with them called Sadiq. Come from in a Marvali too. Number ten, a youth with them called Portal Freighter. Also from the Marvali community. Number eleven, a youth with them called Biggie. Come from in a Marvali too. And next youth with them called Peddy is number 12. Or Nash. Come from in a Marvali. Same way. And 13. Last but definitely not the least. A youth with them called Becky. So all of them man a name. Where you hear me call. The police definitely need them man a report to them. With or without them attorney. A person who is a member of the clergy. Anybody where you want to come in with. Where can say yo. The police them take you in a good health and thing. So go visit the police station. I met the police them all are reasoning with you. So anyone knowing the whereabouts about these persons are to call the Huntsbury Police Station at 876-923-7110. Of course, Police Emergency 119. So watch this now, my peeps. Make we get into the meat of the matter. So right now, as I say, we are going to do a part two upon the South Barrow 
incident that has started the other day. Now, the South Barrow thing you know, a serious, serious business because the South Barrow thing you know, stem from a whole lot of sitting. I tell you. And as always, there is always three sides to every story. We are talking about them side, the other person's side, and then the right side. So we are give the second side of the story right now. So in the first blog, here it is on your screen. So for those who never tune in to the blog, you don't need to go watch the blog there so you can get a full understanding about this one and how I got tight in together. So now my peeps, on your screen is a man known as Nicholas Davis, otherwise Carl Ricardo or Crux. Now he was featured in the last blog. I referred to him as the community puss. Now is a brother where finger fearing bad. Or it is said that he was finger fearing. And any little thing missing, any house broke, theme name, or the first name, everybody I got called because he is known for such acts. So now, uh, this brother is related to the lady that I definitely did the blog surrounding. Her name is Angela. Well, Angela is no longer amongst the land of the living, courtesy of the old dirty corner boy of them. The man named Dirt Angela. So now, one would wonder, why may I talk about Ricardo? No, Ricardo is a man where, say him change. Him say him married and settled down and change him life. Him stop thief. Him stop rob. Him stop the certain little unnecessary things, so to speak, and start live a upstanding life as a married man, as him say. But, Nicholas, we all know, say, you not put it down certain way. And we have proof for sure say you not put it down. And probably you are one of the driving forces why this warrior continue a persist. Now in the previous blog, them man there, a dirty kind of boy them. We all agree. But guess what? You are no different even though you're on the other side of the fence. So now in every war, you always have two persons because one smaddy can't war, you know. One hand can't clap it, take two hands for do that. So now, Nicholas, may I go play one of your voice notes that you send out hurling threats on people's lives. Now, when you do something like this and a threaten another man, another knackis and clappies like yourself, another old dirty kind of boy like yourself, you're threatening their family's life. What you think I got happen to yours? You're not just put your life in jeopardy. You are put your wife's life in jeopardy. Also, you are put the life of your family members in jeopardy. Also, sometimes, you know, a soft answer, turn it away, wrath, but you need to understand that grievous words stir up anger. People who want to listen to the vice clip, yeah. Bad man, if any day me catch up on my nazi youth, if any day me catch all your mother on my nazi brother, if any day me catch drying on my nazi, if any day me catch touch, touch on my nazi brother, nah, I'm a pretty brother. Nah, I'm a pretty my friend, bad man. You hear that? Pussy, no, I have a pretty brother. I tell you something. I'm going to catch you up a pussy, you know, brother. Because anytime I buck you up a pussy, brother, I got dirt to you, know, brother. Do you have me to tell you, brother? And touch go and stay and sell up a pussy, brother. Because man, I got dirt or a bad man. No, my peeps. When Ricardo sent a voice note like this to whomever he sent it to, what do you expect to happen? A dem little thing ya. Well, this is not even a little thing. But a dem thing ya. Make the war can't stop. Because when you threaten a man family life, you know. A man I go take the thing well serious, you know. And your family now go safe. None at all. So right I know my peeps. On your screen is a brother with them called Raymond Edwards. Otherwise known as Danje in the street. So in recent times, about nine house get can up in the same South Borough space there. And some of the men 
were caught on camera to include Dan J, which is known as Raymond Edwards. And I go play for you now. The video clip there that shows clearly the old dirty kind of boy them at work. Boy, I may tell my peeps, when I see them thing here and see the level of hatred and barbaric acts that is being perpetrated on members of John Public by our own, it really sad. We now have no love in our heart. Every man I try to prove who better than who. Every man I try to prove who is more barbaric than who. Come on, youth and youth. And the sad thing is, a be like a baby them, I commit them acts of atrocities here. Uno ban come see the place. And all uno can do, I just come to come mash it up. Uno couldn't try to grow up and help to elevate the place and add to what uno come come see. Uno just a tear it down. Portmore was once a decent little community where people fleeing from the bad violent eras come come live to try get some peace and serenity in them life. But uno little younger ones, the generation of vipers, it seems as if all uno come for do I just bring death, doom and gloom and destruction for anywhere at all on the rest for uno footpan. So anyway my peeps, I want to know watch that video clip here closely and see for yourself what take place watch this now my peeps whilst it is hard for me and you to identify who is who in another video there. It would be quite easy for a person who knows these persons to identify them by a body shape, by a walk and all of that. So it is quite easy for one and two people can pinpoint and say, okay, a John Tom that, or Tom strokes that. And that is exactly what took place. Men in that video clip was identified and Dan J was also identified as one of the men in that clip. Really sad situation, me I tell you my peeps. I just hope them youths and youths here can listen and learn and desist, cease and desist from committing criminal acts, especially in the era where them burn and grow. Don't destroy the place, my youth. We don't need to add to it and not take from it. So now, back to you, the community cat. Yeah, man, me I talk about Ricardo. Now, I'm pretty sure anywhere you there listen to this, you must refute the claim. But me have another thing to bring to the eyes and ears of members of Chan Public. Now on your screen is a picture of a tall up tall up. Now is a picture of Ricardo. I want to note the hand and the tattoo upon the hand and where the tattoo is. I go zoom up the hand of Ricardo and show you say at the same hand I show the tall up tall up right here so. Now Ricardo, when a person see all of this now and we hear the voice note there. You probably need for just walk go over 100 man station if you're not over there already and go all a reasoning with the squad of them and play your case. But there is no way we can have this type of evidence and you just walk up and down in the streets and feel like everything is going normal. The thing that work that way the youth. So the family members of Ricardo we don't need to carry me into the police them because I feel like the police them need for all a reasoning with him too. Because as it relates to that tall up, tall up there, the police them need to know where there. That chapstick there definitely needs to be taken off the streets. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.